we are back doing some more tactics. I'm trying to do one session a day to keep myself fresh. And we're starting off at 1763. And let's go around. And I'm looking at trying to queen a pawn here. It seems like rook check. King moves. Push. The king sidesteps. I just queen. So rook check, rook check. King g6. Oh, okay. Rook check, king, push. Rook check, king. Yeah. I don't see it. And it seems like we can just queen. And that'll be good for that one. Alright. First thing I look at is bishop check, followed by rook check on the back rank. He blocks with a bishop. I take with a rook. Seems pretty good. We need something devastating. He has a queen. We don't. So far, so good. All right. That is dangerous for us. So. No blocking because of that. And that, etc. So we start with the checks first. This one's stumping me a bit because anytime there's multiple moves with the king, that's what makes me pause and try to find other ideas. So we've got knight d6 check, rook e6 check are candidate moves in the position. Rook f1 is not a candidate move because of rook a1. And nothing doing. Since this rook is cutting off key squares, and the pawn is as well, I'm hesitant to move the rook, and it makes me lean towards playing knight check to start with. The problem with knight check is black has three options. And then we run into the same issue again. I mean, should a draw be the result here if he goes king e7, check, king e8, check? Or do we have something better? Check. Push queen, no mates that I see. This one's stumping me a bit. And again, hopefully uh, you guys at home are doing your due diligence, pausing the video and trying to figure out as well. And if you've already figured it out before, I have. Very good. Can I do any waiting moves here? Like push. Push, queen. Push, queen takes over. Pro probably some intricate mate. Uh. Rook check. King there hits the rook and knight. Knight check. I mean, I don't see what the point of the move is yet, but I don't see anything other than checking. Now I see the point. 
Rook check, Rook takes pawn, you get behind it. Sometimes you have to do process of elimination. <laughs> Chess. All right. Um, first and foremost, I see the material difference. The extra bishop for black is kind of telling. But his king can be in a bit of a tight spot. Our bishop's doing work. And that could be part of uh, the thing we need to look at here. Like if rook takes, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes e5 check. And the b8 knight is a bit loose. And we get our piece back, which is what I think is going to be the answer here. I don't see anything else more devastating. And no mate or anything, so it makes me want to grab the piece. All right, cross that 1800 threshold. First reaction is knight f3 check, and then grab the rook. Where we're up a bishop. I don't see how we're trapping the queen. Something like g6. Not only do we hang the bishop, but he's got queen e6 check. I want to go knight f3 check. feel like queen b6 gets the job done. We're not getting mated, and the rook can come to e8 if he takes the knight. Okay. King f8 results in checkmate. So, yeah. All right. Seems kind of like a deflection tactic. The queen's defending. But if I go check, he takes with the b. I take, queen takes, queen takes check, king moves, I take here. Just deflect the king. Checks, captures, threats, always what we look at. And the thing is, the rook is loose, so we look at checks to pick it up. The king moves. Both rooks are special. And free. Okay. Uh, I want to trade queens and then go knight takes c3 because the bishop is in a precarious position. Knight takes c3, knight e2 check will hit the king and bishop. So I look at the most forcing moves to try to facilitate this tactical theme. And we start with queen takes. Now let's assume he takes with that rook. After knight takes c3, I'm hitting his rook, therefore the rook moves, and even if it goes back to e1 to cover e2, I have knight e2 check, where he can sack the exchange and I'm up material, or not sack the exchange and lose the bishop. So then we go with the other line. Queen takes, and then rook a d1. And after knight takes c3, we have rook takes e8 check, rook takes, and the same problem exists in the previous variation, except he can't go to e1 anymore, when the rook moves, we go knight e2. So that leads me to believe it's queen takes, followed by this, followed by check. We take the bishop, and the theme is good. And that reaches us to the 1850 mark. I guess when you have something to eat before doing this and you're not dead exhausted, you have a little bit more clarity. And even though one stumped me a little bit, 
I felt good about this series overall. Join us next time on Tactics with Tillis.